Well, you got to make quick decisions with the basketball. You've got to have your hands and feet ready on every catch, whether it's a shot opportunity, a drive, or a pass. Reedney finds a nice opening on the short corner and attacks the baseline. Excuse me, we're tied, so a reset for Oregon State. Nice feed inside by Reedney. Again, you see the tandem of bigs working together for Oregon State. Came up short on the dunk attempt. Looked like he lost his footing. Now Dexter Acano the other way, trying to get out in transition, avoids the contact, and a flop is going to be called on Cole Badgema. Count the bucket. Uh, the opponents in the PK-85, I think this is a big challenge against Duke, Florida, as we get it over the top look to Dexter Acano for the lob dunk. Really good up top on the perimeter defense. And another lob, this time Brooks goes over the top of Mariel to finish. <laughs> that was impressive. They go back to Mariel underneath for the slam. Well, there's one area that can be a weakness. Well, this is a proud basketball school. You look at the Ralph Miller era. They had Gary Payton. It's been a very good basketball program, but in a rough spot. Dimitri Reevney is having himself a first half. Three triples from the corner. He gets the steal and the finish there. Reevney leading the way for Oregon State with 13 points. Washington without Braxton Mia. So Frank Kepnon, who just had the block for the Huskies, doing a lot of the legwork down low. Count the basket for P.J. Fuller. So just as we were talking about him being scoreless, Huskies haven't led since it was 9-8 to eight with 14 minutes to go in the first half. Feet inside to Andela. Brooks coming up, climbing the ladder. But Taylor Jr. had the big three-pointer for the Beavers a moment ago. Has it here on the wing with 10 to shoot. Inside the zone to Reevney. Quick pass underneath Andela. Tough spot for Andela to make the layup. I tell the players all the time in practice, don't look at me, I'm the worst official in the world. <laughs> Deep three, Corin Johnson ends the Huskies' drought. Reevney has it, Oregon State down two, set 10 seconds to play. And one for Dexter Ricano to tie the game. I would expect a quick pick and roll with Brooks in Menafield. No timeouts left for the Huskies. It's 66-65, Oregon State. And they get it into Brooks. Two to shoot for three. Brooks leans into it off the mark, and Oregon State survives. Big time win for a young Oregon State ball club.